Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Prison Architect. So, I started to record an episode a little ways through and realized my mic was muted. Uh, so, let's just recap what I did in that time frame. So, between episodes, I finished out a lot of these cell blocks for the most part. Um, tried to just clean everything up a little bit, let some time progress so I could make um, a little bit of money. I took out a bunch of loans to pay for a lot of stuff. <laughs> just to finish up a lot of things. That last little short of episode that doesn't exist, um, I put some more cookers. I basically just built up all the kitchens a little bit, added mail rooms, and uh, that's about it. That's about as far as I got, really. Um, as you can see from utilities, that's the other thing I had to do in between episodes. I had to move these water boilers down because the uh, the hot water wasn't reaching down here. So I had to move them all down and redo them all. So I had to do a lot of utility stuff. It was real fun. <laughs> um, and I uh, got the mayor to reduce meal quantity and variation to low. So I took inmate nutrition research, figuring, well, I might as well kill two birds with one stone if they're going to be jerks about it and make me do that. Um, it's only got eight hours left on it. So it's gone a couple of, uh, couple of day and night cycles, clearing that out. Other than that, I'm just kind of... We went into the hole for a little while. Like, I was losing about $6,000 per day. And it was because I built all these cells and prisoners, or prison, you know, cells and whatnot, but I didn't have people coming in yet. So, you know, right at the beginning of the episode that will not be named, that doesn't exist, I let prisoners flow in. And that's why we're making money again. My, uh, my capacity kind of basically filled up for the most part. So, yeah. We're still letting people come in as well to fill in capacity, see? So, we just need to finish up these two here. And then I have a choice. I, I need to kind of clear all this up as well because they walk really slow on sand. Really slow. But I have to clear all this up too, kind of put grass and paths and whatnot. And then I need to either build in these directions and increase the size of these cells or these, these buildings or build out this way and make protective custody and death row. That's kind of the idea. So, if I do build out like this, I'll probably give minimum security, um, or maybe all of them, uh, f uh, prison manufacturing. So, that's the idea. That's where we're sitting about this moment. Still don't have any classes. No programs are still set yet. Um, I haven't done guard tasers. This is what our bureaucracy looks like. Not much of it has changed since last, um... I got all the way up to tasers and body armor for the armory, but I haven't done a rollout or guard towers yet. Uh, I need to do tax relief at some point, and then none of this legal stuff. I'm not too concerned about it just yet. We got 139 of 180. This is a super max wing, and it has nobody in it. So, at some point, that's going to be for... Um, oh, I don't know. People who are a pain in the butt that I don't want to deal with anywhere else. Mainly gang members like gang lieutenants and, and leaders. Um, potential people who like have committed multiple murders and just been really a pain in the butt. High, people with really high um, uh, things like these. If I find like somebody who's like really a real, real bad guy, then I'm gonna move him over to uh, Supermax. Like this strong, quick instigator it's kind of one of those people that may go over to Supermax. In fact, I'm going to send you over to Supermax. Get out of here. You're fired. Um, let's go check deployment. And this is what deployment looks like. I fixed this as well. There was a wall missing. I'm sorry about the zoom in there. There was a wall missing right here. So this room kind of wasn't separate. Now it is. So, But let's check deployment again. And this is kind of what deployment looks like. Um, these just got changed. So let's make those staff only as well. This is all staff only. Yeah, looks good. And there's where the hot water boilers are. The kitchen and morgue are off limits right now. Um, th everything else outside of the walkways are access only. So if if people need to go out those ways, like for instance, I think gardeners, gardeners will still go out there to work. But if people need to get out there, then they can. But otherwise, they'll find a better route. They'll find any other route, which means they'll mainly focus on using these. Because I had people going across like this and it was really stupid yes food budget is over and the results are include inconclusive you are free to set your food policies back to whatever you wish thank you 
So uh, let's serve three high variety, high quality meals for two days. Let's do that. So we'll go to the regime here. We'll do uh, work free, and then we'll do like eat here, and then a little bit of uh, free time, and then another eat right before sleep. Do something like that. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll do um, is it what's it under? It's under regime. No policy. High variety, high quality. It's going to be expensive, but needs to be done for this grant. Alrighty. I need to raise prisoner capacity to 200. I'm almost there. Once I finish these two out, I will definitely be over 200. I think it'll be 208 capacity, so. We're losing a butt-ton of money now because of this. Very expensive. Holy crap. I also have a massive loan, which is a problem as well. Um, I can't take out any more grants. I might just have to fire some staff. Let's fire some of these guards. Let's go down to 90. Nope, let's go down to 80. And 10 on those guys. Okay, that's a little better. We're making money again, but man, we're short on, on staff right now. It's a bit of a problem. But we'll run this for, for two days. We'll get that grant finished. That's one of the most annoying grants in the game. Because that one is almost guaranteed to just make everybody really angry. Like, all the time. So this should hopefully fix that. Alright, people are rioting. That's great. Probably over here. Seven prisoners are rioting, and nobody's rioting. Good job. That was a good riot. Good use of your time. Now you guys can't eat. Good job. Um, <laughs> we'll go to needs. Yeah, food is starting to be handled now. Family and all that is starting to- will start to be handled slowly as people do mail sorting and whatnot. Um, we still have tons of visitation, if they want to make use of that. 23 prisoners are up for parole. They all have parole, so there's no excuse for that to not be working. Um, I could, I need to finish up these yards as well. As well as finish up all of these walkways, because they walk really slow on sand. Like, really, really just... Just deathly slow. It's so annoying. <laughs> so... This is a problem. Jeez. It's a real problem. People getting through here. Maybe I should put the staff door over here as well and have people be able to walk through that. I don't know. I think I'll just leave it alone. Screw it. They'll get to it eventually. Danger's real low now because all the people who were mad are unconscious. I kind of, kind of make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> I think unconscious people tend to not be very angry. Um, let's see. What are you doing? You're operating sorting, sorting desk. Good. Good, good. And you're making money. I see you making some money there. Good job. We'll get you to shop as well. Um, when I actually have money, we'll, uh, we'll set up these shops and libraries and such. We're still way far behind. Um, a lot of this stuff still isn't done. The yards are just not even close. They have three phone booths and that's it. So you can just run in a circle or call somebody. That's it. <clears throat> that's about all you can do. Um, I built this in, this wall, like I built this inside, so now these deliveries are inside. Um, speaking of which, they need lights. So let's go ahead and put lights, uh, I don't know, here and here. And it, that's probably it because I don't have more money. Um, but yeah, I built these inside <clears throat> and built this around because I wanted to have a little bit more security. They were, this was all open through here. And they were able to just run, if they were able to get past this gate, they were able to run all the way to this door. With like almost no hindrance. So now they have to go through two large jail doors. Well, they have to go through, yeah, two large jail doors and this, or they go around this way. Which I may work that out as well. I may combine all of this up here so that this isn't an entrance too. I don't know, figure it out. Maybe put another fence along here. Who knows? I'll figure it out as we go, but for now that works. This needs to stop. Like, you guys need to open these gates. There's deployment in here, so there's no excuse. That's why there's deployment in there, to open those. So, make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. I have all these locked as well. Normally, I leave these locked open, but I've been forcing them to be, be locked closed. And nothing is locked open in this entire prison. So, so far it's worked okay. People do get a little frustrated because it takes a little while for a guard to sometimes open a door, but... It's not the worst. 
Hmm. Somebody broke their turlet. Yep. Somebody broke like all of their stuff. 100% damage to you. Why are you breaking your TV, man? I don't have money to fix that. So you literally have like nothing to sleep on and nothing to do. And that's your own fault. Like literally can't fix it. No money. <laughs> All right. People are doing a lot better as far as food now. Or they should be. Why aren't people eating? What's going on here? Or are they just, or is it not dinner yet? It's probably not dinner yet. That's why. A lot of people are getting themselves in trouble too, which doesn't help because they're just sitting in here instead. Um, there is 60 people waiting for, for solitary. 60. 60. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. I have three per. It's probably all of those people who are in that riot. Wow. 58 people waiting for solitary. Um, how long do you guys have solitary? You guys, the solitary is pretty... Why is there two of you in here? That's interesting. Because we don't have enough guards to move him out back to his cell. Wow, I need a lot more solitary. A hell of a lot more. <laughs> so... Something to think about. Uh, maybe when I build up and down, I'll just... On like the back of this or something, I'll, I'll add solitary. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. I could add solitary on the outsides of these walls. That's actually not a terrible idea. I may do that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll think for now. We'll let it just kind of chill out. Let's just see if we can get people to not be crazy and break everything and just not get in trouble. And then we won't have to worry about that many people being in solitary. Speaking of which, lockdown or shakedown. Have fun with that. It shouldn't take the whole night. That's for sure. I do only have 70 guards. That's like less than that's like a less than 20 per building. It's not very many. Considering I have 150 prisoners, half the two to one ratio of guards to prisoners is probably not very good. But it's okay. It'll do. Yeah, some of these guys had jail keys and batons from uh, beating up cops or guards, rather. Not good. Hopefully we find some uh, thingamaboobers as well. I do have dogs and I'm not even using them. I'm just paying for them. So let's do some dog patrols now that I have this, like, the gist of this done. Let's make a circle around this. Like that. And, uh, yeah, two per is pretty good. Let's pause for a moment while I'm doing this. Actually, nah, just let time go, whatever. Really hard to see. It's like white on a l off white. Really not easy to see. Um, is that in the right spot? Yes. Okay. Just running them straight down the middle of the hallway. Seems to be a good place for them. There we go. And finally, last but not least, let's just take care of drugs and other things. And it's it's a mild suppressant too, I believe. I think it suppresses them a little bit. It may. It may not. I actually don't know for certain. All I know is it's a good idea. We have people that almost escaped. Look at this. They got to the wall. They were almost done. Holy crap. I don't even have money to re remove that. That's $1,300 I don't have. I'm going to have to actually... Um, I'm going to have to get more loans. So I have to remove that. $16,000 bank loan. Wonderful. You guys, man. I'm, I'm, you're not making me enough money to, you know, pay for this BS. All right, that's all of it. Can I decrease it now? No, I can't afford to decrease it. But I can take a $160,000 loan. So you know what? Let's take a bunch of loans out and finish out these buildings. I think that's a good idea. That'll at least be a way to get some more money back. It's going to cost me so much in, 
in uh, interest as it is, so I might as well just make use of it by making some money. I can take another grant here soon, too, once that inmate nutrition research thing goes away. The um, utility should be set and done in all these, in these, both these hallways, so shouldn't be a problem, as far as I'm aware. There we go. Looking good. Almost done. I'm so glad that this quick build thing exists, because I'm, could you imagine, remember when you had to do this ball by hand one at a time? God, that was sucked so bad. All right, can I decrease it? I did. Okay, cool. So 16,000 at a time. 3,000 in interest per day. It's real bad. So when uh, when I get more prisoners, I'm going to be paying back some of my bank loan. Uh, there's been deaths, so I can't do that. Can't buy sell off shares of my prison. How much is my prison worth? 730,000 minus bank loans. So ignoring bank loans, it's worth about 800. It's pretty good. That's a big area of land. It's going to really make these, these cells a hell of a lot bigger. That's for sure. All right, let's go ahead and stop this since everybody's up now. I don't want you guys searching while they're awake. It tends to piss them off a lot more. More than it already does. Food should be coming up soon. That should make people a little happy. What's everybody's needs look like? Family, exercise, food, hygiene, freedom. You guys have free time literally right now. The reason why freedom is such an issue is because you guys keep getting yourself in trouble, thus removing your ability to have freedom. Like all of these guys who are stuck in here, look at how bad their needs are. And the moment they're done with the solitary, they go back to their cell, they come out, and then they get pissed off again. So there's just it's an endless cycle. They need to stay suppressed. I think suppression stops them from causing misconduct. This guy is not going to stay suppressed. He's getting angry. But yeah, the suppression needs to stick, stay. Just long enough for this to kind of work itself out. Dangerous decreasing. That's good. Probably because of food. Yeah. Food does help. How are you guys doing? You guys are building. Things aren't moving very fast. That's what happens when you get a really big uh, prison and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Your, your game just starts to get a little bit slower at a, you know, each time. Um, while I have this money... Let's concrete tile this. Because I can afford to. Might as well. Because I want to do it at some point. I might as well do it now. There you go. Looks good. Okay. Alrighty. That'll at least look a little better. People will move a lot, hell of a lot faster too. So, I'm a fan. Alright. Everybody's doing okay. Stuff is increasing. People have serious complaints. Family. I mean, you guys have mail rooms. You guys not working on your mail rooms? You, go in there. It's work time. Nobody's working in here. Well, why'd you move that? That's strange. Did you have to move it for them or something? Because that'd be really silly. <laughs> oh, whatever. You guys are doing laundry. Good. Laundry shouldn't be an issue. You got your privacy. Hygiene. Clothing. Yeah, clothing's not an issue. We got plenty of laundry rooms to compensate. Cleanliness shouldn't be too big of an issue either. Isn't that a thing, right? Or I guess maybe not. Maybe it's environment, actually. Yeah. Yeah, environment's good. It's mainly just family. Family is really crappy. I don't want to give you eyes each your own phone. That just seems like a stupid idea. But, um... You guys have free time. You guys have the ability to go out to the yard and use these phones. Use them. When well, you got free time, do what you need to do to take care of your stuff. You have plenty of free time. Look at all this. For people who don't work, you guys have eight hours of free time a day. Get it together. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys are taking care of it. Your needs are clothing. You got needs of freedom. Oh, you've been suppressed. You're overheating as well. Excuse me? What is it, too hot? It's 28 degrees Celsius. Oh, is it because it's outside? Let me check the, uh... What is it, logistics, temperature? Oh, yeah, it's, like, really hot. There's no way to fix that. There's no combat to that, though. There's no air conditioner. So... Am I just basically F you, I guess? All right. <laughs> so be it. Yeah, people are getting mad again. Two armed guards. Oh, five. I was going to say I have more than two. In fact, I know for certain I have five. Why aren't you guys using these? Guard required to operate. Yeah, so somebody operate this. Oh, they're literally all stationed. There's five guards resting. 66 are stationed. That's wild. Uh, murdered by prisoner. Murdered by prisoner. Murder. And he, apparently he was the only one that murdered, but he murdered twice. Suppressed and overheating. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the overheating. I mean, it, you know, it, there's no counterbalance to that. So just screw you, I guess. It's not even that hot. 87 degrees. I lived in Arizona for like 10 years. 115 is 120 is hot. 86. That's not hot. It's not hot at all. It's uncomfortable. Sure, but it's not hot. It's not enough to be overheating. It's, n it's enough to feel mild discomfort. I'm gonna break. Um, did we finish that milk quality thing? No. Still doing that. I need more guards. I also need, like, more money. Just in general. Why are these not done? Why aren't these done? Where is everybody? These should be, like, done by now. What? Somebody built way out here? The dog found... Uh, uh, somebody dug out here. Excuse me? How do I search that? Or does it automatically get searched? I don't know. There's a flag there, though. So... Oh, I know why it's not getting done. Because they're doing the flooring. Duh. Well, that's good, too, though. Look how fast people are moving around here as opposed to... Walking at a snail's pace everywhere. I like that. Um, but yeah. What is up with this? Um, when they're done, when, it, when it's nighttime, I'm going to do another shakedown. Because apparently somebody is digging a hole. Oh, it went away. See, that's what I was going to say. Is there's no, like, line of prison, of cells right there. So unless they're digging out like this way or something from over here or over here or something, then that doesn't make a whole lot of sense right there. Although, I, you know, I should have dogs like roaming around the outside. That's kind of smart. Also, fill this hole in. I don't know when that happened. <laughs> it's they're sleeping now. Shake down. I want to make sure nobody's trying to tunnel. That's my biggest concern at the moment. Once the shakedown's over, I think, uh, I think that'll be an episode. You don't have to check the bed that literally just showed up on the truck. Please, stick to the cells. Also, this, like, yeah, bottlenecks everything real bad because all the guards are busy. Why aren't you guys doing stuff? Just because you're stationed doesn't mean you should go out and do this. I, this is like a, a call directly from the warden. Go do a shakedown. Everybody's asleep, so... What they ever. I'm not finding a whole lot. Um, let's get rid of that. There we go. Uh, open. Open. <laughs> I guess I'll take care of this. Look at, this. <laughs> Look at this. This traffic jam. Go. This is why it's taking a thousand years to do these cells. Hey, that door was open. Why didn't you go through that one? 
disaster, a nearby prison rendered a whole section of the facility unusable. We have no choice but to transfer the prisoners there to your prison, as there are no other suitable facilities nearby. They will be arriving soon. What? I don't have capacity. Does it, it doesn't even say how many incoming prisoners in an hour. <laughs> right, we are maxed to capacity. Uh, with the exception of maximum security, so... They're going to be sitting in this place, which doesn't have a place for canteen. You know what? Let's um, let's make this shared just for now. I think that's a good idea. All these people in the holding cell will go to this. There is a canteen accessible. Oh, wait, wait. That doesn't work because they actually can't get through these hallways to get to it. That means I have to make the hallway shared as well. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, deal with it. They starve to death, they starve to death. I'm losing so much money right now. And I can't sell shares because there's never any no recent deaths. Everybody's died, dead all the time. These guys starve to death. What are they doing in here? Alright. Um, that's good. Just go back to doing things because all these guys need to go places. That guy starved to death. That's strange. Like all these people are probably super hungry. I need more guards and I need more money. So did I, I okay, so did I get out like an influx of people? I got a, no, I didn't. I didn't get anybody as far as I can tell. Yeah, we're still under capacity. Okay. I'm okay with this, I guess. Hey, got that grant payment completion. Let's let's get rid of this regime. Let's go back to medium. So much better. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. And then let's that capacity thing will finish as well as these get completed. Um I guess tool cleanup is probably not a terrible idea. Reform through education is probably not a terrible idea. It only gives me a fifteen thousand dollar advance and it's gonna take forever. Let's do a tool cleanup. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Our prison is doing okay. Not bad. It's losing money right now, which is unfortunate, but, uh, it's getting there. Once I get enough money to start buying out, like, land nearby, I don't know how much this is going to cost. 80 grand. Once I get enough money to start buying these, I can increase capacity, and out here I can, you know, put protective custody and such. Um, but for now, it's just kind of filling in the rest of it in, getting all these walkways finished, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I've been Chaotic Order, and I will see you next time.